Which regular polygons tessellate? Well, first we have to talk about what a tessellation is. A tessellation is a repetition of geometric figures on a two-dimensional plane that has no overlaps or gaps. What tessellates? So imagine we have a point on a plane where many vertices of angles meet. We know that the sum of the angles at the vertex must be equal to 360 degrees because it makes a full circle. So angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 equals 360 degrees. Let's explore which regular polygons tessellate. So what's a regular polygon? A regular polygon is a polygon with congruent sides and angles. So let's do a little investigation. Complete the table below in order to find the interior angle of a regular polygon. You will use this angle to rotate the regular polygon in SketchUp to test if the regular polygon will tessellate. As an example, I will do the heptagon, also known as the septagon, which is a seven-sided polygon. We know that we can make up five triangles inside a heptagon. So therefore, five triangles times 180 degrees gives us 900 degrees of the sum of the interior of the heptagon. If we divide this by seven, we get 128.6 approximately, which would be one of the interior angles of the septagon. We can also use the formula n minus 2 times 180 divided by n to give us the interior angle of each regular polygon. So in this case, we have 7 sides. 7 minus 2 is 5 times 180 divided by 7 is 128.6 degrees, same as we got before. So the question is, does this regular polygon tessellate? Well, we know that the interior angles must add up to give us 360 degrees. So if we try putting two together, we see we get 257.2 degrees. That's too little. If we try three, we get 385.8 degrees. That's too much. Neither one of these gives us 360. So the septagon will not tessellate. So what I would like you to do is prove it using SketchUp. So we can go to SketchUp and choose a template. We can just use the simple template. And we need to modify this. We need the large tool set. We're going to deselect axis and go to parallel projection. And on the standard view, go to the top. And we can get rid of the little person icon there, delete that. And we're going to go to our polygon tool, which is on the left side here. It's a triangle symbol select that and we need to make a seven-sided figure so click 7s and it automatically pops up in the bottom right dialog box enter and we get a septagon now we need to select it and make a component we don't need to do this but it helps us from making mistakes on the septagon in the future so now i want to copy rotate so i'm going to hit the copy button i'm going to hit the option or control key option for Mac, control key for PC, and I'm going to rotate this around the vertex, which requires clicking at the point of rotation and then a corresponding point on the object. And I'm gonna type in in the dialog box 128.6. That's the interior angle that we just calculated. Now I'm gonna repeat. I'm gonna click, hold the option or the control key and rotate again, 128 degrees. What we see is that we get an overlap. So we don't get a 360 degree tessellation here. So with just two, we get a gap. And if we try three septagons, we end up getting an overlap. So a septagon does not tessellate. So go back and fill out the sheet and figure out which regular polygons do tessellate. When you have completed the regular polygon investigation, open up a new SketchUp window and make a regular tessellation. And watch the next video on how to do that.